Hey there, thank you so much for coming back to join me for this month's, you know, favorites and flops. Favorites and flops for November 2023. So um, I have quite a few products that um, I've used over the month, things that um, I've really gotten to test, see if my thoughts are the same, if I would recommend, if I didn't end up liking them, stuff like that. So if you'd like to see the ones that I do recommend, all that kind of stuff, maybe some flops as well, then please keep on watching. Oh, that was a really, really bad intro. I don't know. It's late. I'm tired. Yeah, that, that's my excuse. Kitty's still here. We named him Kevin. Uh, so yeah, he's stressing me out today, but it's fine. This is why I don't have pets anymore. It's because they stress me out. But anyway, he's asleep on the bed right now, covered up like a little, little taco. So... Anyway, so, uh, very first thing I want to start with, so that way you can put her down or hang her up, is my beautiful red wig from Timu. I love this wig. I like all three, don't get me wrong. You probably, if you didn't watch the Timu wig video, uh, it's, it's in my channel history this month, so. But this red one's definitely my favorite. Um, she just looks the most natural. She's got like the perfect amount of shine. I just love it. So yeah, this is the wig I wear most of the time. If I'm wearing a wig, this is it. So she is definitely a favorite. I haven't named her. I know that Moira from Schitt's Creek named her wigs, but unfortunately I do not name mine. Maybe someday, but anyway. But uh, check out that video if you haven't, if you are looking for some affordable wigs, Timu might be your best bet, just saying. So I have like a bag of two bags because I've been trying to get this video like done and I keep ha being interrupted when I'm trying to gather stuff. So there's two separate bags. So, you know, because, you know, life is stressful sometimes. So I guess we'll start with makeup. Um, so yeah, so I was pleasantly surprised when I revisited this product. I thought I absolutely hated the, um, soul jingle, 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 you know, highlighter that I got last year because they re-released it this year. If you didn't know, they re-released the Rudolph collection. I remember not liking this highlighter and it just wasn't shiny enough and like shimmery enough and all this kind of stuff. But revisiting it, it's actually a really, really pretty highlighter. It's really, really gorgeous. It is a little bit more understated than some soul highlighters, but it is really, really pretty as well. So if you are into more of a less super shimmery, glittery highlighter, and this might be a good option for you. It's just, it looks really pretty on the skin. It looks very smooth. Kind of gives you that wet look. Obviously this was, you know, swatched and applied with my finger, but when applied with a brush, you can do a really beautiful glow. Um, very natural looking. You can build it up as well, but I actually really, really like this highlighter. I'm glad I revisited the collection so that way I could like reassess and like see, oh no, actually this is a really good highlighter and I like it because it is really really beautiful so I'm glad I did that speaking of the Colourpop Rudolph collection the palette the palette is just beautiful um I kind of was sitting down like I said when I was like going through my videos and like I'm like looking at stuff and I'm like okay I really like the highlighter I really love the palette and the lip glosses are good and so are the lipsticks but if you can only get two things or even just one thing out of the collection I recommend the palette. The palette is just so beautiful. I love the color story. The formula, the formula, formula, formalization, the formula is amazing. Um, I just, I think this is a beautiful palette. It does free, does scream like holiday, winter, stuff like that. But this I think is a palette you could use all year long, honestly. I really, really enjoy it. So yes, I love this palette a lot. Like I said, if I can only recommend one thing, only afford one thing, I would get the palette. Once again, I do really like the highlighter too, but the palette is just beautiful and special and I really, really love it. So yeah, sorry, I'm exhausted. Can you tell? Can you tell that I'm exhausted? Uh, I talked to my friend today. Uh, she also has cats and loves cats and I was showing her a video. We did a, we did a, like a video call and I was showing her the video of Kevin and stuff and anyway, but yeah, not sleeping the best because of him, just because I worry, which, I mean, it's weird because, of course, he's in pain, and of course, he's not in good condition because you've seen him, but 
anyway. Uh, I have to talk about the Pure um, Fair Light. This is the 4-in-1 Skin Perfecting Powders. I tried this in, it was on Tuesday's video. Yes, on Tuesday's video. So that was, uh, you know, a couple days ago. But I love this. I think it's so beautiful. I remember really loving Pure when I was first getting BoxyCharm. This was years ago. But like in the old BoxyCharm, you got a lot of Pure Cosmetics. But it's just such a nice palette. And it really is just beautiful. The blush is really, really nice. The highlighter. I didn't use the um, banana powder, which is on my center finger. But everything is super pigmented, easy to blend, just really, really pretty. I enjoy it a lot. So this is something I'm definitely going to be reaching for more um, now that I kind of redug it out of my collection. So yeah, I'm, I'm, and you know, I have some other pure cosmetics, so I think maybe I'll be trying to trying some other pure stuff. So I do like it. Um, I couldn't be talking about makeup that I really, really loved this month if I did not talk about this next thing. And it's actually just sitting here on my desk because I've been using it. It's the L'Oreal L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Blush. Uh, this is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. I used this in my Cold Girl makeup look. Well, it's the first time I tried it, and it's just a gorgeous blush. Very, very pigmented. I can see why people, some people don't like this blush, because it's one of those that you do have to be a little bit more careful with. And they do have some brighter, bolder shades, but it's such a beautiful, beautiful blush. It is matte, and it is buildable. So if you've gotten this and you don't think you like it, try going in with just the tiniest amount, just barely dip your brush in and apply it there and build from there. I think, because back in the day, and I'm not great at makeup even now, back in the day I used to like think, oh, okay, I just gotta go in with all of it right now. And no, there's some product, well, all products, but with me, there's some products you really need to build and blush is one of them. Don't go in super heavy handed because blush is one of those things, it is hard to fix, you can do it, but it's kind of really hard to fix if you put too much on because as you try to blend it away, it just spreads it more and then you end up with like half a red face because I've been there and I've done that. So, but I do like the L'Oreal Infallible Blush. Really, really pretty, very pigmented, looks beautiful on the skin. I'm absolutely loving it. Another thing that was on my Cold Girl makeup, and I might've done this uh, last month, but I've been playing with these more. They are the double um, glam joy liners. This is just a really affordable set from Amazon. Uh, I don't even know what the actual, and so I think it's, I don't even know what the actual brand is. If I can find it on Amazon, um, I'll link it down below. It won't be an affiliate link. It's just, this is such a good eyeliner set. You get um, seven or eight different colors. You get uh, a matte side and a glitter side. The glitters do need to be built a little, but they are really, really pretty and they're fun. And if you are someone that you enjoy a liquid liner or a colored liner, or you're gonna be purchasing for someone that does, this might be a good option. So really affordable, really, really nice. Um, I have to give a shout out to the, um, what brand is this? Why am I, why is my brain not working? Because I'm tired, that's why. Beauty Intuitions, there we go. Uh, I knew it would come to me. Uh, the Rosie Nudes little eyeshadow palette. This is such a nice little palette. Um, $1.25 at Dollar Tree. I was actually pretty surprised at the pigmentation. I'm also gonna be talking about the lipstick here in a moment, one of the lipstick shades. But I feel like this looked very, very orange on camera. Um, but this is actually a really, really nice little palette. It's surprisingly pigmented as well for Dollar Tree palettes. So I do like this a lot and I can see myself reaching for it. So I think if you are someone that is maybe someone that's like more into those shades or whatever, I think it's gonna be really, really nice for you. Um, the lipstick from Beauty Intuitions, this is like their bold, whatever. The color on the packaging is nothing like what it's going to look like in the tube, but this is the mocha shade and it's really, really pretty. Just a really nice moisturizing, soft matte, pretty long lasting, smells good, it smells like chocolate. I do like the lipstick. The other shade, the rosy pink or whatever, looks absolutely horrendous on me, but I do like the mocha shade. So if you find these at your Dollar Tree, I think that they'd be really awesome stocking stuffers, or if you're just looking for some new affordable makeup for yourself, that might be an option for you. Okay, we are done with makeup. Look at that. Moving on to the other bag. 
Okay, so I told y'all that I would let y'all know about the Duke Cannon Basic as Pumpkin Spice uh, Soap. I have to say, I absolutely love it. I'm super excited to try the other two scents for the holiday season, but this stuff is really, really good. I absolutely love it. It might not smell the strongest, like once you suds it up and everything, but you'd still get enough of a scent that I can tell I'm using a pumpkin spice soap. I like that it's moisturizing on the skin. I love how big it is. I think that these would make really, really awesome holiday gifts, or if you're just looking for a big ass bar of soap, then I would definitely recommend the Duke Cannon. Really, really good. They have a whole bunch of different scents out there, not just holiday or fall. So I would check them out. This is not sponsored. I got this as a gift and the other two for the holidays I purchased myself. So, but really good. I like it. I like that they're handmade in the USA and they're nice bars of soap. So I do like it. Let's see here. Alrighty. So the Albaline, this I kind of have mixed feelings on. I've continued to use it throughout the month and I do think it's a really good cleansing ball. I just have to like double cleanse after I use this. So I do have to like triple cleanse basically. So I use this and then I use two other cleansers after that to get all this off. I think if you have dry skin, I think this is going to be a really, really good option for you because it is very, 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 very moisturizing. It did not make me break out, which is a good thing with there being like so much mineral oil, pretty much mineral oil. And if I'm trying, okay, I'm not going to look at it. Mineral oil, paraffin and petroleum. Is that what this is? Yep, mineral oil, petroleum, paraffin. Anyway, it's a good cleansing balm, but like I said, I think if you do have acne prone skin, oily skin, probably honestly my type of skin, which is combo, I probably wouldn't recommend this just because you might find it too heavy, hard to remove, all that kind of stuff. But it is a good cleansing balm if you are looking for one that is going to be moisturizing for dry winter skin. It is nice just for certain skin types, if that makes sense. So I don't hate it. I like it, I think it's a good product, but maybe for my skin type, it's maybe not the best, but I will use it and I will just double cleanse after that. It's fine. Because my brain is gone today, today's video might be a little bit longer. I'm gonna try to hurry. The Aunt Jackie's Oh So Clean Shampoo. This is the moisturizing and softening shampoo. Talked about this on Thanksgiving. Really, really good shampoo if you are looking for one that is moisturizing. It smells amazing, it lathers so well, even though it's um, sulfate free, mineral oil free. There's like a whole bunch of things that it doesn't have in it. Sulfate free, no mineral oil, no petroleum. So really, really good stuff. I do recommend it if you do have um, coily hair, very naturally very dry hair. If your hair is damaged, I think this is amazing. Um, I like it so much. I would love to eventually um, explore other things from the Aunt Jackie's line just because it seems to be a really good brand. And I did some Googling and stuff and uh, woman owned, uh, black owned, entrepreneur, awesome, awesome story. So if you are curious about Aunt Jackie's, I would definitely look it up because it's an awesome company. So anyway, and purchased myself. So um, the Joa Hilmi Sika, this is the gentle foam cleanser. And of course my flight's gonna die. Why does this always happen to me? Really good cleanser if you are somebody with sensitive skin, but you still like a foaming cleanser. This stuff is great. Um, I, I really, really like it. It's hydrating, but it doesn't leave your skin feeling greasy. We are gonna get through this, I promise. Um, the Body Cology, the Fireside Marshmallow Cozy Fireside S'more. I really, really like this stuff. It is really, really good. Um, it smells good, a little bit of a unique scent for me, but it is very cozy and very fall, winter. I like it a lot. So I do recommend this and I think that would make a really, really nice gift. And I liked it so much that I did actually go and I purchased the champagne scent, um, I, which I guess is uh, new for the holidays. Uh, so really, really nice little set and I do like it and I would recommend it. And then the last thing I'm going to be talking about is the um, Be Pure Essentially Ageless. This is their Collagen to Gentle Foam Cleanser with macadamia and hoba oils and the collagen cream. I love both of these so much, like a lot. Um, I love the cream. Um, I, I use it quite a bit. Such a light scent on both. It feels like I'm using like high end drugstore, if that makes sense, like a higher end drugstore, like Neutrogena or Rock or you know, those type of brands, not like St. I love St. Ives, but you know what I mean? There's like St. Ives, 
any great brand and then there's like the expensive Neutrogena and stuff like that. That's kind of what I feel like when I'm using these. So, so good. If you can find these at your local Dollar Tree, I would definitely recommend picking up backups because I'm sad I did not because now they don't have it. And that really bugs me out because I love both. I love the cleanser and I love the moisturizer. The Essentially Ageless Collagen Night Moisturizer and the Essentially Ageless Collagen Gentle Cream Cleanser. They're both incredible. They're amazing. They're probably honestly the winner of this whole entire video. I would definitely recommend those. The um, Rudolph Palette, the Big Ass Bar Soap. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and the Aunt Jackie Shampoo and Conditioner. But yeah, really no giant flops this month. There's definitely some things that didn't work for me, like certain colors or formulas or something like that. But there's nothing that was like, oh no, that was just such a crappy product. No, it's just maybe it didn't gel with, with me and my coloring or whatever like that or my skin type. So yeah, there we go. Um, I hope you did enjoy this month's favorite and flops. I promise I will be getting some sleep here hopefully tonight. So I won't be a bumbling mess. Oh, and next time I'm in this room, um, I will have holiday decorations up because it's time to put away the fall decor. Um, I probably should have put away the fall decor like two weeks ago, but that did not happen. But next time you see a video in here, I will have changed um, my, my decor. So there we go. Um, let me know down below in the comments. Was there anything that you really loved this month or really hated this month that you tried? I would love to know down below. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that. I do upload seven days a week all about budget stuff, budget beauty, vlogs, hauls, home decor, cooking from time to time, all sorts of stuff. So make sure that you do subscribe. But I do appreciate you stopping by. Another video should start auto playing here in a moment. It might be one of mine, it might be somebody else's. But sit back, relax, enjoy, and I'll see y'all here in just a second.